everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I am going to be making this card using the free papers that I've received from my April issue of Making Cards magazine. If you follow me over on Facebook, you would have seen I shared a little video just showing you the papers that came with that issue, and I'll show you briefly those in a minute. But I've made a few, few cards. This one here is the M fold card that I've made before, and I'll share that little a link to that video if you want to do that one but look at this it's so fun it's a really nice card to do but the papers are just gorgeous and like I said these are the free papers that came with the issue and then you just lift up that one there and you can write your message and it stands it's got that profile really really nice pretty card so I've done that one then I've got this one here which is really nice with the acetate window and again I've just fussy cut all of these lovely flowers using more of the papers and that stands up really nicely there and then this one here I really like and it's just got this piece here I'm calling it an easel stand rather than an easel fold card because that's slightly different this is just the, like an easel stand that's what it just reminds me of and that stands up that way and that's the profile that you have really nice it's this is I find this one and this one are great cards to just really show off the papers you can just have a whole background there of just beautiful paper and the same with this one here it's just all full of paper and then what I'm going to do is you can either write your message here. I think I'm going to do a strip of white right down there through the centre to write the message. Alternatively, you could also write your message on the back. So there's plenty of room. But again, if I just bring that up, how pretty is that one there? So that's the one I'm going to make today. I'll link in that one. And that one's just really easy. I just got my square, my largest nest square die and die cut it and just pop some acetate between this and the base of the card and then just put some flowers on it. So really straightforward. So let's pop them to one side. I'm going to do two today just because I've got enough papers there but this is the issue I will link this in my blog post I love it I subscribe to this magazine so um, and those of you that have been with me for a while know that I enjoy the, um, crafting with this one and I'm also in this one as well which was really nice quite special for me you know being in a magazine that I actually really like as well so but I won't show her all that because if you want to get it then you can see these are just some of the papers left you get 31 papers plus there's extras as well that you can download there's a huge chunk of them are for mail cards which I'm also going to work on this week so you can see there, there's just tons of papers and then there's these nice postcard pieces and more there but again I do show them in, on that other video and just pop across to Facebook and you'll be able to find that one on Mixed Up Craft and this is just left over of the papers that I'm working on with the floral prints so I'm going to do another card with those two at some point I've fussy cut that one there that's for today's card actually you got more there and then that's the last A4 piece I've got left so I'm going to do something with that okay so these are both the five by seven cards like I said I'm going to do two they're exactly the same um, oh actually no I'm using that for this one there we go <laughs> so I've got that one and one's in orange and one's in red but you wouldn't think because they look the same that's orange that's red so that's all my pieces there so five by seven card base then your mat to go on top is well this is actually going to go on the inside because we're going to be cutting the top piece so we'll do that first and then I'll talk you through your mats and your layers and it's entirely up to you how far you want to come in and how big you want to make your kind of stand part so this piece here in the middle I've come in each side by two inches and then cut it you might just want to come in one inch and have a larger piece and just have you know an inch of the pattern paper showing but I thought two inches was quite nice and I liked the thought of these pieces overhanging each side I just thought that gave a little bit more interest to the card so with the top with it in the top folding orientation you just want to pop a ruler along the top just grab my pencil and you just want to mark two inches coming in so I'm marking it two inches and then five inches and that's two from each side okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to remove you're going to cut along this top score line you're going to remove all of this on each side okay like so the easiest way I find to do this is using the trimmer to cut pretty much all of it so I'm bringing in my larger one here just so I can really see what I'm doing so I'm going to pop this one in first and I'm going to remove the, um, the score line. So I'm going to come down, get as close as I can, just look into the side there, and lift that up, and you can see that I'm only a little bit off, but I can do the rest of that with my cutting knife or just with my scissors. And again, this side here, I want to remove the score line 
I'm just going to cut that down as close as I can get it. There we go. I can go even further there. I didn't judge that one as well. Like I said, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you'd rather use your scissors for this, then that's fine. Use your cutting knife and your metal ruler. I'm just going to get most of the work done with this. There you go. Pretty much got all the way up there. And then I'm just going to line this up with the two inch marker. Make sure you do it from the right end, the end you're cutting. Pop it in at two inches. And again, I'm just going to go all the way up as close as I can get it. Like so. So I've only got a little bit to do there. And then here I can bring it down to five. So we know that's going to remove the two inches from that side. So whatever way you find best, you just want to remove these two sections. Okay. So now I can just come in with my cutting knife and just tidy off. That one's pretty much already gone. In fact, I think that's it now. Yeah, there we go. So that was removed. But I am going to come in and just take the bulk of that score line at the top out because it did miss that bit. I just really want to tidy up. There we go. I've got a nice clean cut there. That one's removed it completely. I'm just a little bit shy with this bit here. Now I'm just going to grab my rubber because you can just see the pencil mark. There we go. And now we can just decorate it with everything. So I've got this mat that's going in the inside. So this one here is six and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then I've got the layer here, which is six and a half by four and a half. Okay, so they're going to stick down there. And I'm going to do that exactly the same on that card there. And I'll just share the finished one at the end of the tutorial. A few of you have been asking about the glue. I did do a kind of like a, I guess, a bit of a review video. It was more of a, a kind of like a introduction to the taser glue for, well, I'd never heard of it before they approached me. Um, and I have been using it and trying it out and I haven't updated the blog post for it yet because I wanted to really get a fair kind of use of it and see how it works long term. Um, look back at the cards I've used it on and see if they're still stuck together and I was yeah surprisingly surprised by the results so this is the roller tape really like it it's great for speed um, and I've obviously used lots of roller tapes before and they are they're perfect for that but this is um, yeah it's nice once I stick it down I go over it all with my bone folder just to really kind of cement it and um, yeah, I've not found it to lift or anything, so that's that. And then I shared a little tip on my Insta stories on Instagram, and I used the Easy Stick, and this was really good. And that's what I've done to make these stronger, because these were on just copy, well, a little bit better quality than copy paper, but that's what they print them on in the magazine. So that's, you know, all of these here. Um, and what I done is I stuck it again onto a stronger piece of cardstock and I use this to stick it down and it's brilliant. It doesn't warp the cardstock and it makes it really, really strong. Um, I love the stuff so much so that they actually sent me some more. So thank you, Taser. It was really kind of you. So you will see this featuring a lot and I genuinely do like it and it's good value for money. So again, I'll share the links and I know I've got this up in my Amazon storefront. So you can find the links to that as well, which will be on my blog. But yeah, so lots of people always ask. So I thought if I just mention it, that and there's obviously you always see me use my Aleens and I also use my Tombow, they're the wet glues. So everything's got different properties and different uses, but um, these are, yeah, I'm enjoying using them. This piece here is gonna mat on, this, on the middle part there, and this is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. So that one's just gonna stick nicely in the middle. And of course you can do um, any decoration you want, and your mats and layers will obviously be different if you've cut this in different to what I did so bear that in mind obviously you'll need to do that bit yourself so that one's a little bit off but it can be repositioned but once you really push it down I find it won't move like so okay so that's that one and now I can pop these down so I want to do something similar to that one really so I've got that kind of hanging off that side. 
and then I'm going to have, I think, that like that. And then I'll have the birthday wishes maybe coming off that side there. I think that looks really nice. So for these ones, I'm going to pop a little bit of foam adhesive just to give it a little bit of a lift, a bit of dimension. But I'm just going to pop the two in the middle of the, the flower as opposed to the leaves because they're obviously going to be hanging off. And I do like to use my wet glue when I use the foam pads there just so I know that they do really stick. So I'm going to have that one there and then that one there. And then I did have, I put the foam already on the back so I thought it was going to be coming off to the left so I'm going to remove that and pop a new one on and this time going off to the right. Actually I don't need this on at all, I'm just going to stick it across like that going to have it maybe a little bit higher up so I'm just going to pop some of my glue over to the left hand side there and just stick that right the way across, hold that down for a second and then I've just got some of my, I'm going to use these iridescent ones here and I'm just going to pop a few sequins in these spaces but that's that card there so now I'm just going to do this one just on high speed so you can see me put that one together So there you go guys, they are my easel stand cards, really pretty, love that colour, love purple with the orange, something really different, um, really bright, and there's that one there, and that was the original one, yeah that was it, yeah that was the original one, but I just think they've got such a pretty profile, you can see there how they look, and really easy to look by cutting, you know, that little bit of cardstock away, I just think it gives a completely different look to the card and I just love that you really get to appreciate and show off the beautiful papers and I'll just bring in those ones again there and that's my lovely Enfold card which I love as well so there you have it just a few cards that I've made with some of the papers from this month's issue um, like I said I will share some others whether there be full tutorials or if they just be pictures over on my Facebook page but um, yeah you'll be able to see them there anyway so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye